everybody hi welcome to the storyteller with me nirupa i am back with yet another story well this is going to be a series again it's the book is called tales for a stormy day sounds interesting well it is and it has a series of stories which i will put in different videos for you to watch and enjoy okay let's begin so let's begin okay my brother nathaniel and i love to visit our grandpa he's the best storyteller in the world he used to be a sea captain but now he lives in a lighthouse the downstairs is shaped like a ship and we get to sleep in hammocks like this just like real sailors so cool one morning last summer we woke to a huge storm the sea was wild and gray and the waves crashed against the rocks oh scary i was a little nervous but then grandpa knocked at the door said ahoy mates he said cheerfully a nor'easter's blowing a nor'easter is what sailors call a big storm it could last a while but we'll stay snug and dry i have brought you breakfast in bed eat up and i'll tell you a story and he did so the first story is called Beeble Bean and Beeble Boo. Long ago and far away, a stone wall, high and wide, was built between two kingdoms that were standing side by side. Beeble Bean, Beeble Boo. On one side lived the Beeble Bean, the other Beeble Boo. But why so high a wall and who had built it no one knew For many years the wall did what the wall was meant to do it kept the land of beeble bean free of the beeble boo and those who lived in beeble boo knew not the beeble bean though both sides spoke unkindly of the ones they had never seen Take care beware the beeble boo said those in beeble bean we hear they don't have hair and that their ears are green take fright on sight of beeble bean cried those in beeble boo we hear that hair grows on their toes and that their ears are blue oh this scaring everybody hmm season turned to season and the years so swiftly flew and on both sides of the wall the beebles fears just grew and grew the wall stood wide the wall stood tall and might still stand today had not a little beebel boo gone to the wall to play she bounced her ball against the wall she threw it in the air the ball that crossed the wall to land in beeble bean somewhere by chance a little beeble bean with nothing much to do was sitting by the wall and saw the ball from beeble boo aha uh -huh. he picked it up and threw it back to beeble boo and then she caught it and she tossed it back to beeble bean again the afternoon passed quickly both were sad to see it end but they said they'd meet tomorrow and each would bring a friend two beeble boo two beeble bean played ball next afternoon and each one said they'd had such fun they'd get together soon the next day 
eight small beetle boo and eight small beetle bean gathered by the wall to play with those they had never seen. Soon all the little beetle boo and beetle bean were there. Balloons and balls and soaring kites and laughter filled the air. It's like a party time now, huh? What's going on? The grown-ups cried. What makes you laugh and play with those we fear and do not like? Huh? How can you act this way? They scolded them. Huh? They laugh a lot. And so do we, said one small beaver bean. So what if they don't have hair or if their ears are green? Hmm? The beeble bean seem just like us, said one small beeble boo. Who cares if hair grows on their toes or if their ears are blue? <laughs> the little ones are having fun. Remove the wall, someone cried out. Perhaps a beeble boo or it might have been a beeble bean. No one remembers who. Together, those with hairy toes and those who had no hair removed the blocks and stones and rocks until no wall was there. And on that day of balls and kites and laughter, one and all could see that all their differences were really very small. Where once a wall stood wide and tall, bright flowers grow today. And Beeble Bean and Beeble Boo are happier that way. They're happier. That is the end of the story. I mean, happy is always the end of the story. <laughs> I'll be back soon with more stories from the same book. I hope you'll come back and watch them and hear them and enjoy them. I hope you did the same with this. I'll see you soon. Until then, 